guys, uh, it's Tobias uh, from Lockpicking Nord, or with Lockpicking Nord, I'm not sure about that. I recently recently heard with, uh, always thought from would be right, but but uh, I, I really don't know um, if both are possible or only one. And please, please let me know. Yeah, as you noticed, um, this video is in English. Um, some of you suggested we should do videos in English to to uh, get around uh, creating subtitles for those videos. And that's usually not practical, not to us, I think. Uh, but in this case it would just uh, be possible to do two videos, I think. Because it's it's more of an explanation, uh, explanatory video um, than, than usual. And it's about the circular lock uh, we sent to Bosnian Bill. He made a video on it. Um, it's somewhere in the early 1000s, uh, 1024, something like that, I believe, um, in case you haven't seen it. Um, he could not pick it, and that was our intention. We uh, actually had two ideas. Uh, we wanted to make our own lock, uh, our own core, at least. And this this is of course uh, a, a core we made ourselves. We weren't sure how to how to do it, uh, not exa exactly. Uh, and also we wanted it to be real hard uh, to pick or to tension. And nothing's harder to tension than a hole, of course. So um, yeah, um, uh, it's it's two birds with one stone actually. Uh, we only had to get um, well two pieces of metal. It's it's a brass shell and a steel rod. Uh, we both had to reduce in diameter to fit um, both the inside diameter of that brass uh, shell and also uh, the, the housing, of course. Uh, the key was easy too, because uh, it's actually the shaft from a 5mm wooden screw uh, that was ground down and then had those grooves cut to it. It's also got a groove in the end. I think Bill thought uh, it was just to get the key inside to, to compress uh, the pins, but it actually has another uh, pin back there that turns the core, because um, the key can't tension against the pins. The pins will tilt and actually keep the core from moving. Uh, it'll at least uh, drag quite quite heavily. Uh, the... how is it called? I forgot the name again. Um, damn it. Uh, can't recall. The bow! The bow is uh, a doorknob, actually. And we put that dent in there to uh, get both of those things together. Yeah, so, uh, actually we thought this would be pretty impossible to tension, but actually it's not. I, I found out uh, the first evening I had uh, tried it at home. I, I used several tensioners, um, and this one actually works pretty well, um, but of course you have to know that there's a, another uh, pin back there, and uh, then then yeah, find the right tensioner and you may just tension it pretty nicely. Uh, yeah, I forgot to tell you, um, we firstly wanted I don't know if that's a word. Sorry, uh, at we thought we'd, we'd make a challenge lock for Bill, uh, only containing standard pins that he couldn't pick. Uh, maybe we should, sh uh, should have done that. We still should have done that. Um, but actually I, I could rake it, and I'm not much of a raker, I already told you, I believe. And I will show you that it can be tensioned like this, and then it can that it can be raked like this. Um, I'll need more than one try, probably. This might take a few minutes, even. So prepare for a fast forward. Okay, I slipped. Oh, 
got it open. That was fast. Didn't think it, I would get it open that fast. <coughs> so maybe no fast forward at all. Okay, uh, yeah, I, I raked it and that's due to uh, the pins are not very effective. I will, I will take it apart and show you in a minute. Um, and also it's because there's just standard pins in there. Although I don't know if those pins are a lot more effective and I don't think so actually. Now I'll take out the set screws first. pinning board because I'm, I'm used to only five pin locks but actually this body of this BKS uh, had six holes to it the core only had five so I couldn't upgrade it but it was uh, great that we could use the, uh, that sixth chamber now okay uh, let's remove the clip finally pins again. I already made a, another video of this lock in German. I also lost all the key pins so no learning here. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I'll just repopulate the core and then doesn't matter which sequence actually. I'll find out later. They look pretty much the same all, all those key pins but they are not, they are slightly different and they're pretty short, yeah, pretty long actually, pretty long, uh, not that effective, effective for pins. Uh, we, we put all those security pins in there, in there and they are not that effective, but effective enough, I believe. So of course all those key pins I'll just dump them out, they are not in sequence anymore. Anyway, uh, of course all those key pins are reduced in diameter up, up front and, and all those holes uh, are counter milled to prevent the pins from falling into the keyway. Um, of course that has to be done that way, usually you have some kind of uh, warding some kind of ledge on, on at least one side that keeps the key pin from falling into the keyway completely then you wouldn't be able to insert the key anymore and uh, that's this is how we how we did it wasn't the ob obvious solution so some of you suggested that um, the key would actually uh, use uh, um, apply pressure pressure against the key pins to turn the core but but it doesn't it actually cannot uh, we had to grind down uh, all those grooves pretty far to the side <coughs> because otherwise the key would have would have tilted um, the key pins uh, you can still see them move while the, while the key is moving it's got a lot of play to it that's uh, because um, both the key and that uh, pin back there um, 
Uh, oh, I'm missing the word, I'm sorry. Th there's a lot of force applied to both of them. They, they are really suffering. I don't know how to say it. I'm sorry. Um, so, this is actually a set screw that's been narrowed down in the front, on the tip. And it's pretty bent, as you'll see. That's due to all those all, the, all that force um, applied. Oh, sorry. I didn't want to do that. That's because of all, all the force applied by the key. Uh, usually all the force is, is um, applied to all of the warding <coughs> and, and um, material wear isn't, isn't that bad, but, but in this case it is really, really bad. Okay, so um, now you know all the secrets. Please go ahead and duplicate it. Uh, I'd, I'd like to see clones, I'd like to see uh, locks um, that are improved in, in any way. That that would really make me happy. Or uh, I think I I also speak for Julian. And yeah, we're coming to the end. Actually, um, I wanted to ask you to please please um, tell me if I'm doing things wrong all the time. Uh, concerning um, all all the subtitles. I, I told you, I, I recently heard someone saying, hi, we're Ken and Dave with, I don't know, this and that organization. Um, and, and I was really wondering if I, if I ever uh, did that um, the wrong way, somehow. And um, please let me know. Use the comments or use um, the email function. I'll, I'll um, display it. Sometimes, several times from now on, I believe, Julian made us an, an email address um, on GMX. Oh, okay. So I'm I'm very excited. This is getting tiring. Um, for me, I'm I'm not used to doing that. I I apologize. Um, I hope you liked it. I am. I I hope I answered all the questions. If not, please please uh, put them in the comments or or write us an email. I hope you liked it and I hope I'll be able to do one or more uh, English video in the uh, future and until then see you next time probably in a German video with subtitles just like you used to until then bye bye